El lado de Amon es el contemporary Chinese artist, educator, and professional <coughs> speaker. The most common reform is known in the West as the Chinese Cultural Revolution, which became the modern world's greatest tragedy. During the Mao's period, it is estimated that 45 to 70 million people died from killings and starvation. Historians agree that it was far more the number of people who died under Hitler during World War II. Milan Liao has painted the story of her journey and written her book, Diary of the Dragon's Daughter. While still in China, in 1999, Milan was granted a U.S. permanent residency visa under the Alien of Extraordinary Abilities category. At the age of 45, she gave up an established career and the financial security she had finally gained as a successful artist in China. Not knowing how to speak English, she studied as a child would, learning a new language and customs. During the 18 years she has lived in America, she worked her way up from the cafeteria dishwasher at Purdue University while learning English and the customs of her new homeland. Milan also managed to earn two master's degrees in painting and study art in Italy. She taught at the Herald School of Art and Design for five years and for eight years led the painting program at the Paducah School of Art and Design where she built the Milan Liao Gallery. She retired from being an associate professor to concentrate on her artwork, her book, documentary and film and to share her life with her family in Atlanta. Let's welcome our guest artist, Dylan Liao. My art and the story follow my journey in China and offers an honest look at the public, social, and cultural issues. For 50 years, I explore the relationships, my personal story, Chinese history, and the fine art. My paintings are dramatic, soulful, and truthful. They open a discussion what it truly feels like to live through. What's the Holocaust? Record human history. Mass government locked the Chinese away from the rest of the world for 27 years. He controlled the other meetings. Each element of this painting, freedom, has symbolic meanings, such as the tornado on the roof of the building. It's symbolic of the Chinese people who live in the hell. On the right, there are three figures show how Mao Use innocent young people to destroy Chinese economy, cultural, human rights, and society. The image of the open door and the people finally follow the dream, follow the desire to live in China, to pursue the dream of freedom. People often ask me, what is your American dream? My American dream is to have the freedom for speech, to share my truth, and to be allowed to express my human rights and my personal power as a woman and a citizen in the world. As an artist, having the freedom of self-expression to paint, feel, and desire for my soul is extremely important. In China, I do not have this freedom. Because the Chinese government was controlling the art, what allowed to paint. The window is the introductory piece to my series of painting, Diary of the Dragon's Daughter, painting as the window into Chinese history. I painted each painting in this series of 30 paintings to be a window into the past for people to share my journey. The painting are surround the window and me, pictures of my parents and other my family members. Most of my painting are realistic 
But here you will see I create a different meaning and conversation of my story. The sculpture called Born into New China. Mao declared that everyone born into New China we have a great life. When I born into China in 1954, there was a terrible flood in Japan, Xinjiang, and it was foretelling that my life will be a lot beautiful dream and a way of life. I stopped the relief of myself as a baby. My mother's hand soft hold me. I was delivered by my father, which was one of the few times in life we were lucky my father was a doctor. The painting was of freedom. When I was a violin girl, my father would listen to the radio program with a man he had to hide under a blanket was his wedding. Because anyone who was caught listening to the radio will be punished. To me, as a child, he looked like he was playing a game. I wanted to join in the fun, but my grandmother held me closer. My mother was standing next to the window, and my brother was watching by the door in case a label reported us to the authorities. When we hear a person speak in the video, the fear and hope fill our heart. The painting is called Sister Tao Goes to Heaven. Students performed made your label as part of the lovely at school. My nine years old sister and some of her classmates died at school in 1958. One day, my sister and her classmate were walking outside a long walk the school, a pile of coal dust suddenly shift against the wall, calling the storm and coal dust. Still alive, they put my sister top on the school's desk, but they forgot her. She blamed her death on that desk. The painting depressed my sister as she said goodbye to my parents and walks out of the door for the final time. The empty chair is waiting for my sister to return. The painting Father's descent in the prison. My father was trained both Chinese and Western medicine and believed free speech. The government named him a capitalist and taught his business and everything we owned. I designed this painting as a triptych. The first painting about my father's imprisonment and the darkness over his life. There is a poster on the wall. The meaning to admit guilt to Chinese people. High on the wall, a small window represents my father's hopelessness in the second painting. A heavy poster hangs from my father's neck was a paperboard cap on his head. He stands on a stool outside, being punished as a capitalist in the third and a final painting. A news hangs from a city. Show him symbolized to show how my father took his life. One on the wall hangs a poem, Chinese poem, asking God Asking God. The 
the Feast of the Ten Mouths. There are many moments during the New China period. The Great Chinese Famine began in 1960. Millions of Chinese people died from starvation. I was always hungry. And my grandmother and my mother sold everything they had to get food for us. I remember one day, in our dinner, we have a little bit of bacon, the meat. It, it tastes like smoked bacon. It was so good. We asked him for more. She said, no more. We asked him, grandmother, why isn't there any more? She said, because I only caught one small mouse. Another Chinese movement in 1962 was destroyed free market. My brother and I were selling beans on the street. We got caught. They lectured us to stay away from the campus. If they caught us again, they would send us to the jail. When my father returned from prison, our family was so poor. Finally, my father found a job cleaning the dirty machine racks from a factory. My father cooked dirty machine racks in boiling custard water to remove machine oil out. My brother and I cleaned the racks in the river after school. Well, I was washing racks. Suddenly, I saw a paper floating to me. It's one dollar. I cannot breathe. I thought, if you can reach the one dollar, I can buy anything in the world. I got the one dollar. I bought a candy. This is my happy memory. The painting, Mother Bird. In our city, no one won't hide my mother because of my father's criminal status as a capitalist. My mother finally got a job transporting materials used a wagon. She had to pull heavy nose construction materials from a storage building up a steel hill, the builders of the construction site. My brother and I will wait at the school. Pepper mother pushed the wagon to the hill. The painting on natural education. Chinese Cultural Revolution began in 1966 on all school shut down. Students failed. They had the power to torch the teachers, burn the books, and destroy the classroom to solve support the revolution. In 1968, Mao called for Chinese students to receive a natural education from poor farms. 70% of school girls sent to the farm were ripped. My brother went to farm, hoping for a better life. But he only found himself hungry and he walked like he was in prison. The painting Unforgettable expresses my experience when I worked as a waiter of age 15. I had to leave my family and live in a morgue that had once been a temple. It was still surrounded by many griefs and abuse. I was afraid every night. For many years, I continued to be afraid of the dark and have bad dream. I finally put my feelings on the canvas to release my fears painting and playing piano on my throat. And they helped me to face my fear. On the top of the left, I have incorporated the image of another forgettable 
part of my journey. In 1985, I was in Tibet painting a ballad that had been totally destroyed. The Chinese army bomb, had bombed the village in 1950. This innocent people run outside to see the airplane because they had never seen a plane before. They had no idea the plane was dropping the bomb. And that many they were killed for many years. I could not get the fear I saw on the face of my mind. I promised to paint my best to hope my painting will have here the, the feel and pain for others. This is a biological painting, it's called My Journey, and it represents my life in China. People compare my story to Anne Frank during the World War II. Millions more people died in China, and I had many difficult times. I was lucky. My family and many people tell me, never give up your dream. This painting is called a study in secret. I received my education for my campus college. In my factory, there were also many campus teachers. One had a road textbook to me in the paintings. And another taught me to play the violin. Many of these professionals encouraged me to never give up your dream. Many people know that a child had a one child policy for many years. Many Americans adopt the Chinese girl because many Chinese men do not accept the girl. Having a son with support parents in their old age because there was no retirement insurance. When my daughter was born, my husband at the time did not accept our daughter part of his family. I raised my daughter as a single mother. This painting showed me taking my daughter by myself in the middle of the night to the Tansa People's Hospital. To get my daughter to the People's Hospital requests me to run through the festival with many criminals. The painting, I want to be a nun. There are many disappointments and deep sadness along the way, such as my failed marriage. I was always, I was also put back for being hired as a professional because I was tripped. My work stays. Due the time I was 16 years old, I worked at a government factory. I was exhausted, spiritual, and filled homeless. When well, when the whole son, a monk, was very patient to listen to me. The conversation with the monk opened my mind and he reminded me to always look inside my heart and to express the thoughts and feelings I was learning to never give up my dream. I tried the Tibet to find my inspiration. The painting is called Hope and Prayer is part of the coming into Tibet of 12 paintings. Every July, Tibet celebrates the Shidon Festival in Sidi Lhasa, Tibet. People come near and far to Lhasa for celebrate. The painting is about 
A family full has come to Lhasa and they dream to see God's heaven in the sky. Well, they pray for the hopes to come to true. Cold silk portraits of Buddhas cover the high mountains. The painting contribution express five young monks taking contributions for their temple while they give the life to the God. Here I just uh, uh, quickly to share, share some of my family member's story and a painting. My sister Jean wanted to be work at the age 13. She thought people would treat me better, but they did not. The big feet grandma. In Chinese society, three inch feet from foot bending show the family will reach and a concern by beautiful. And it, my grandmother parents reject the foot painting. Also give her education as a boy. After her parents died, then she left the home, escaped from her first drunk husband. Running away from her husband was not acceptable in those days. It was by danger for a young woman to try alone. She baked the food and sleep in the temple along the way. She traveled as far as she could from her hometown. So then now when we know her history. Anyway, finally, she found my grandpa. The painting is called Three Inch Feet by Great Grandmother. She had a very sad life and story. The first marriage. It's about my aunt. She was forced into a marriage with army soldier. A nun was other woman. It's part of the Chinese pain history, only taught by this woman to family, such as my aunt. Thank you. The reason I come to the United States for freedom. In China, I cannot paint my story because the Chinese government blocked all the history. I come to the United States because I want, I want to paint my painting or to write my book. I want people not to forget the history. You know, we need to, to learn the history. Do not let you know, the past happen today. To watch dictated to come to our life. So I don't know if I ask you questions. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for your lecture. I'd like to know how you started painting and where you got your painting supplies under that dictatorship. How, how did you get paint and where, when did you start? Actually, in China, you know, we not allow me to paint. I come in the States because I want to paint my story because I'm an artist. Now, how I started painting first, I wrote a story. Put my memory together, memory together. Come back to China, do research, I interviews with my relatives, and then after the schedule, the images. We do the painting, do the, it's not like you're painting on the still life, you can paint it on, you know, it's not. You have to put all the piece, piece together. It takes a lot of time, the concept on the painting. Composition, concept, it takes more time. Well, I want to show you an example of one painting in this color. The first of 10 months. So this is a true story we need a little bit of months, you know, have big deal. Put it together is not easy because so I will put the, the, the schedule and then I will do the model myself. My grandmother, she was my uh, classmate and his Hispanic. I changed he like Chinese and like my grandma. Most of the challenge is the lighting. So I have to design how to the lighting and also even some chair because the chair and the table. So I think I would do a lot of change, change, changes. So a lot of changes. I'm a Chinese, I'm an American first. I am still Chinese. I really want the channel <coughs> do block the history. They have the, the truth to so the country where I have hope. I do not yet, but uh, 2006, when the Tibet has some issues, I got a lot of emails, I believe from Chinese government. They asked me about my idea about it.
I said, I'm an artist. I'm allowed to involve politics. I traveled to Tibet three times. I love the people. I love the culture, especially the beautiful clothes, the landscape. I just painted my personal story, and this is a true story, just this. And I still come back to China. So what happened? I'm not afraid. If I'm afraid, I will not paint my story. Because somebody has to stand up to talk the truth. Could you tell me about your piano education? I'm really not a very good piano, but I practice. <laughs> um, I learned uh, violin, and I was 16 at the factory. And then when I went to college, I played the Chinese earth for two strings. I always want to play music. And I was teaching at the college. I began to take a piano. I still have a bad dream. My husband knows that I'm screaming. When the lights are closed, yeah, to feel the ghost. <laughs> Just practice, relax, for fun. Okay, thank you. So, my game is our dreamland. So that's the reason I encourage a lot of Chinese in Netherlands and English. When I come here, I, I cannot speak English. We want the award of peace. The peace, love. Everybody together.